Good morning. Well, it's been a miserable, miserable day today. So it's not really practical for me to be up there putting beams in while it's wet. But there is a job that really needs doing and I've been kind of putting it off. Now, as I've been doing all the work up there and now the floor's exposed, it means that stuff's dropping onto the floor and risking the tiles getting more damaged. And this floor, like the whole concrete floor, has got to be replaced, as you've seen with the other parts. It's not in a stable condition, although this one's a lot better. So these tiles have got to come up. I just don't want to. I've done a few test patches with a spade, just getting it under there nice and gently and they do seem to be coming up like relatively easily. So, let's just give it a go. Today I've got a helper, I approached a helper from Lalande to help me sort them all out, make sure everything's organised so that when it comes to getting remade or lay them, you know, it's not a, it's not a Dan job. So they're all coming up actually pretty easily, not managing to break any other than the ones which are already broken. And the cool thing is now I can see the maker's mark on the back. It's not that easy to make out, but that looks to be the place name. This is kind of their symbol, or it looks like, I don't know, or is it a map? Oh, lions. Four lions. Anyway, if any of you clever people want to research that and tell me, that'd be a help. Okay, a good third of the way through. They're all coming up pretty, pretty easily. Pile here, but most of them have cracked already. All nice so far. Why is it?
just concealing That I'm waiting for a star to fall Won't you do me a favor? Won't you give me a baby? All this time I'm looking at my telephone Cause I'm thinking of your hands And the way you make them dance on me You can just do a nice face for a minute so I can use the shot. No, I cannot. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I feel like you're making this look so difficult. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they were really easy to take off. <laughs> it's because I'm being delicate and not using brute force. And not breaking any. <laughs> I've taken up so many. <laughs> and every time you turn the camera on, so really making progress now. Unfortunately, this area, if you remember when it was a tornado, loads of the rocks fell down, so a lot of them are unsalvageable, but we're getting there, aren't we? Just about, and it stopped raining. Yeah, well, it's Just still about. raining inside, which is annoying. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Here's a massive pile of tiles that we managed to save. It's basically three patterns. There's the blue one, the triangle one, and then this one. Shame, because that was like one of the little motivators around the chateau, just having this one room that was bright with the tiles and yeah, but I think it had to be done and by doing it now, I've saved a lot more tiles than in the future when more soft drops down and we're doing more work. So, yeah, I'm surprised how easily they came up. We, we maybe lost like 5% of what was taken up and a lot of them were already damaged already. So that was a win. So I stopped at the edge tiles because these are stuck down a lot harder and these, and I don't want to damage them. So I'm going to just spend really slow time taking these up now. See here the pad, which is where the staircase used to go. There was obviously a little landing. And with things like this, you just got to accept that it's going to get worse before it gets better. But it will get better. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean Monday.